not about blanketing uh, everyone with just another tool. Um, I do think there's a huge benefit. Um, there's so many districts in Missouri uh, where I'm from that are really small and don't have the funding to have updated resources. Um, so that equity piece is really important and I, um, I feel like we're fortunate in where I work that we are given those tools, but I would love for all students to have that opportunity and to get those rich resources to support learning. It, it is not a big money saving opportunity. I believe that if you're seeing a, a, a great cost savings because you're not spending tons of money on a traditional resource acquisition, um, then I believe there's a possibility that you're doing it wrong. Um, because in order to make this work, the, the, the really fantastic part about it are teachers collaborating, teachers um, doing this work in alignment with fantastic instructional practices, um, in a collaborative way, in professional learning communities, and you know those things aren't free either. Um, so this is, this is a way to do really good work to honor teachers as the professionals that they, that they truly are, um, and to do it in a way that is largely cost neutral. It is a viable, sustainable option, and we have to consider this. Textbooks are just too, too overpriced. They are outdated by the time we get them. Students in classrooms deserve better. I can't say this is where my passion is, if we continue to teach children out of 12-year-old books and 14-year-old books and 15-year-old books, we are doing a disservice to kids because that information is not only not valid anymore, but it does, it's not relevant. It's, it's, it doesn't make sense to be teaching kids. I wouldn't pick up a newspaper, a 13-year-old newspaper, and say, I'm reading for information. Why would I ever do that to a student? Why would I ever do it to a child and say, this is what's relevant? And then how, I think it's a form of malpractice that we have teachers that are being forced to use textbooks that are even six, seven, eight years old. It just, um, it doesn't make sense to me when our world is changing so rapidly and our children have to keep up and, and they have to become entrepreneurs of their own learning after high school. We, we're putting them out into the world where they're either going to go to college or they're going to have a career or they're going to be so adaptable they can move, fluidly move through career and college uh, at will. And how are we going to prepare them if they've only had 13 textbooks in language art and 13 textbooks in math and 13 textbooks in social studies? If that is all they've ever been exposed to, we have done malpractice. Mm -hmm.